Texas Georgie, back at the Georgie's Room of Rock. How's everyone doing out there tonight? Or today, whatever the hell you're watching this thing. Uh, we're doing our little thing um, for uh, Jacob's new channel, KRI, his uh, letter alphabet challenge thing. So we're he's up to letter G. He gives us a letter every week of the alphabet. And we pick a couple uh, bands or artists with that same letter. So he's up to G. And again, hope you subscribe to his channel because really good, really nice guy. Really good guy. Like He does so much different stuff. He has so many genres of stuff he talks about. Not just hard rock and metal, but other pop stuff. Which is cool. I'm pretty much a one-note guy. I just love the metal and the rock, so... But anyway, let's pick some albums out for the letter G and G for my name, George G. So why not? All right, first one I pick is um, this album from 1973, and it's a hard rock band called Granicus. And there you go, um, unknown band pretty much, um, but it's a really got a, it's a really quite a good album. Uh, and when it's pretty much no one that I know is on the album that uh, you would know. But as far as the songs go, it's got first the opening track. You're in America. You're in America. Bad talk. Twilight. There's an epic song called Prayer, and um, a song called Nightmare. Paradise. It's good hard rock. Basic '70s stuff. Um, just hard rock from that from that era. So it's good. So yeah, Granicus with the G. Next one is um, from 1970. Nine. This is an odd band. It's a rock band, hard rock in a way. A lot of elements to their music. I really can't describe them. And I saw them first, another album, not this one I'm going to show you, on, um, what do you call it? <clears throat> on No Life to Metal. Scott Water showed an album by them. And I bought this album for that. And the band is called Gatto. The Act of Gatto. So, very strange. Let me take this out of the, uh, before this falls on me. The cover here, if I can get it out of the cover. There we go. There's the cover. Again, it's very... I can't even explain the music. It's just it's hard rock, but it's got some different, strange elements to it. It's good, though. There's some more albums I'd like to get. It's very different um, music. Uh, the first song is called... <laughs> oh, my God. Anna Canna Pana Canna. That's the name of the song. I swear to God, that's the name of the song. If you can see it without the glare, that's the title track. Or the first song, I should say. So walk on, Chantel. Rosie, just hang on. Take care. It's a it's a good it's good stuff. It really is. Like you know, it's just like I said. Find it if you look if you do YouTube music or or stream stuff, whatever. Um, just give it a shot. Gato, different band. So there you go. Next one is from this death metal band. That this album is not a death metal album. It's kind of they went in that same. This band went in that same vein, kind of that Tomb Entomb did back in the nineties. Um, and this one, I actually like this. This album is no one talks about. No one probably likes this at all. I'm not sure of the year on it, but it is Gorefest with Soul Survivor. Um, this one is not one people talk about. Probably more people don't even like. I like it. It's got a little groove element to it. Um, the song Freedom. That was the title track. Um, I mean the um a video for that. Really good song. Really, that's I mean by the album, but. It's got 40 Shades, River, Electric Poet, the title is Soul Survivor, Blood is Thick. It's a, I like it. I mean, it's not death metal. It's totally different. It's, got, it's still got the heart, little harsh with the vocals, but um, I like it. So, I'm weird. This one is going to make a two for one on one from this new wave of British heavy metal band. And it is Gaskin with End of the World and No Way Out on one disc here. So... I have to say that it's they're good, not great, but each uh, each album has its has its moments. It's got Sweet Dream Maker, Victim of the City, Burning Alive. It's got some really good stuff on this one. Uh, End of the World, I'm No Fool, which is uh, I'm on one of the compilations I have for the Wave Bush Heavy Metal. That's from the End of the World album, and No Way Out has Dirty Money, Free Man, um, Say Your Last Word. It's good. I mean, the first album, End of the World, is, is much better than No Way Out, but it's 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 not bad. It's good, though. Um, if you can find it cheap, it's good enough, but I thought it was good for the guests. I don't never talk about the band, so pretty good, though. Not bad. And the final one is, <clears throat> I guess it's, you call it a glam band. It's got two guys from popular bands now. Phil Lewis from um, LA Guns and Phil Collins from Def Leppard, and it's Girl's second album, Wasted Youth. Really good stuff. I need to get the debut. I don't have it. 
This one that's through the twilight. Old dogs. Wasted youth. Nice and nasty. Overnight angels. Sweet kids. It's a good album by Girl. Just basic hard rock, land metal kind of stuff. Um, but really, I love Phil Lewis's voice. So, here's the back cover. It's hard to see with the glare and stuff. But Anyway, Girl. That's it for the G's here. And we picked that up. It's good stuff. And that's it. So, again, um, cool thread again. I like Jacob's thread here. It's really cool. I say it every time. But I like it. It's, it's different. And anyway, that's uh, that's it. So, subscribe to this channel. And, and you like, if you like to see from my channel, please like and subscribe and comment on here. And um, that's it. Keep rocking metal alive. We'll see you next time.